everybody, it's Amber, and I'm so glad that you joined me today. I have a really, really cool product that I wanna share with you, and it's these containers right here. So we're gonna jump in right into this video, and I'm gonna show you how I'm using these, and I'm gonna tell you how you can get some for yourself. So what these are, they are called the Unikeep Organizers. And this company reached out to me and I was so excited because I will tell you that I do get multiple companies um, that contact me and ask me to review their products. And so if it doesn't fit, you know, what I think I would use and I would love, then I don't share it with you. But this product, <laughs> I am so excited to share with you because these organizers are so amazing, especially if you like to do memory keeping, any type of scrapbooking or if you go to crops, or if you just wanna get like organized for a specific project, that's what I use these for. So I wanna go ahead and jump in and share this with you. If you want to go and visit their website, I'll leave it linked below, and I'll link these exact products as well. So that way if you want these, you can go over and so grab I'm them I'm gonna be yourself. using this for multiple purposes. The f so the first thing I'm gonna use this one for is gathering a bunch of stuff in my stash that I kind of build a kit with and use to make cards with my nephews. So I have a bunch of stuff in here that I've organized and pulled from my stash to make Christmas cards with my nephews. I'm so excited about it. And I don't know if you can see this. So the cases are actually sold separately. They do come empty, but that is great because that means you can customize it by purchasing the inserts that you want. So this amazing case was filled with the inserts that Unikeep picked out for me and I absolutely love you them. Know, and it closes right up. It's got a three ring binder inside. And it just, I love how it just encloses and snaps and just keeps everything together. I love it. See, I can take this with me in my sister's house if I wanna do some crafting or like I said, work with my nephews on Christmas cards. But it's got all these different sizes of sheet protectors. And yes, I probably won't use all of them. In fact, I took this one out. It's the key holder. I probably will figure something out to use for that. But as for right now, I went ahead and took it out so I have more room for my stuff. So let me show you kind of what I've done so far. I'm not done with this. I need to put scissors and glue and all that kind of stuff in here. But I did go ahead and pull some stuff from my stash. So these big sheet protectors, I love them because they're like side loading. So I stuck in some eight and a half by 11 plaid scrapbook paper. And so you get several choices and I don't know that we're gonna use all plaid. So I wanted to leave my options open with the rest of these. So you get five of those heavy duty um, sheet protectors. And then I pulled a bunch of my fun matching cards that I found at the Dollar General this year and I pulled those because I figured these would be super fun for the kids to use for their cards and so these little pockets here are top loading and they were perfect to hold all of my options of the cute little matching cards because these would make beautiful card fronts and so there's a bunch of those type pages and then these I figure I'll use for stickers and embellishments and die cuts and stuff. So I just had this sticker sheet that I had a few missing from. So I just went ahead and stuck the rest of them in these cute little pockets. They're also top loading. I added some die cuts and I cannot wait because I'm gonna go through my stash and get all my whimsical die cuts and choose the ones I wanna take um, to make cards with my nephews and put them in here. So then we have different ones. So these ones have like a closure on the top, but I thought that was really cool and a ni nice option to have. Okay, so these ones have little squares. And I don't know about you, but let me see if I can put something behind this so you can see it better. So I don't know about you, but I'm gonna use this for washi samples. I have those little um, cardboard or cardstock um, I guess they're spools you can get from the jewelry section at the craft store and I'm gonna use that for washi samples and I'll put each one in here so I can let the kids choose their washi I think that'll be so fun to go through all my Christmas washi and do that so there's um, again several sheets of those 
And then I just cut some paper down here to go on the card fronts. I'll probably end up cutting some more whimsical prints out because you know me and my vintage, that's pretty much all I have. <laughs> so I'm gonna go through my paper and see if I have any more bright colors. But I just stuck those in here. And I thought that was a nice size to have. So there's a bunch more of those. And then you get to the color-coded protectors. So these are color-coded. I didn't exactly use the colors that they are coded for, but this one is yellow. So of course I put in some white card stock for, for cards. There's a bunch of yellow ones. And then there's blue, which I can use for blue card stock. And then here's like a reddish pink, but I used it for red card stock for the cards. And then I did green. So I have several sheets in here and look how many more can fit. I mean, this is crazy. This is so awesome. So I'm excited about this. And the cool thing about it is once you have it filled up, you can take out the protectors that you aren't using so you can fit more goodies in here. Because like I said, I'm gonna be bringing glue sticks. You can stick them right in here, scissors, anything, a glue runner, and then close it right up. And I'll probably end up putting a bunch of different card bases in this size pocket. But you can also use this to organize your December daily, which I'm going to do after this project. So I love this so much. When they reached out to me and I checked their product out, I got so excited. So let's close this one up. And next I'm going to show you the smaller size. So this size makes me super, super excited. And it takes a lot of stress off me because my sister gives me envelopes just like this full of the kids' pictures for the year. So her two sons are my nephews, Brady and Bryson, and she gives me like their soccer, their baseball, their class pictures, all different pictures, and she just gives me an envelope. And you know, I'm a scrapbooker, so of course I should be scrapbooking them or organizing them, and now I can with this amazing binder. So it's, again, a plastic case, and it's got these really cool rings right here where you just pull them up and then you can snap them back down. So here I'm excited about this size because this you can fit Instagram size pictures in or bigger. And there's a couple of those. Um, I'm not sure what I will use these small ones for. These are like the washi tape sample ones that I showed you before, see? Um, so I don't have any pictures that small, but definitely if I don't need these, I can pull them out and use the space for something else, or I can use these for more washi samples. But here's the part I'm most excited about. It's the wallet size inserts. So here's my precious little nephew, Bryson, and I've got all of his pictures here, some on the back, and then I've got my nephew, Brady, and all his years of sports and everything. And then there's these ones with these big pockets like this, and so you can fit like a four by six in here and it'll have some room. But I have these pictures that I took of the boys last year and these are the leftover ones. So I just put them in a, like a clear sleeve and stuck them inside here just for safekeeping. So here comes the other ones I'm excited about. Have you ever noticed that school pictures are like the weird three by five size? Well, guess what? They have these pockets that are perfect for those. So those are my precious nephews, and I'm able to store their school pictures in here. And I'm waiting on this year's pictures, but there's a ton of those. And then of course they have all different sizes throughout this, and like I said, you can take out what you're not gonna use. Here's more wallet inserts, because they know those are really popular. And I just love this, because now, no matter what, every school year that my sister gives me the pictures of the boys, I'm gonna have a very nice, safe place to keep them where I can flip through them and look at them. I can even decorate this with scrapbook paper if I want. I can change it out. And because this awesome website has the refills and everything, you can just go there and order any type of refills you want and use these for anything. If you go to the website, it'll give you ideas on what you can use this for. But here's all the fun pages that you get in this one. So this one also you can do trading cards and things like that. Like I said, you can trade these out 
change them out for whatever your needs are. If you're going to like a mini crop, you can use this for that, for scraps. I love to take my leftover collections and break them down and make a kit out of them. And this is perfect for that if you want to take it to a crop or a scrap, you know, so fun. part of the Unikeep binder and organizers. And I hope that this is helpful to you. I'm going to link all their information below. Thank you so much for watching and I'll catch you in my next video. Bye.